Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will see how to create attribute and how to assign that attribute to the attribute set. So you see here in the left side, this is called as layer navigation. In this layer navigation, we have some filters. So based on these filters, we can filter the products. Now we have uh, different filters here like style, category, size, price, color, etc. Okay. So based on these attributes, products will be filtered. When I click this one, based on this attribute, these products will be filtered. Okay. Now how we can uh, create these filters? How we can add that in this layered navigation section? Okay. Now for that, I have to go to admin. You see here, stores. Click on the stores. Click on this product and click on attribute set. These are the two important things uh, right now we need for creating attribute and assign the attribute to attribute sets. Okay, first we need to create one new attribute. Further, click on this add new attribute. I will just tell that in a simple way so that you can easily understand and uh, create a new attribute. Okay, here we have lot of options. So first I will discuss what are the required fields. Uh, for creating new attribute and then we discuss uh, the remaining things okay first for creating any new attribute we need this label name new attribute this is my new attribute that i'm going to add so you see here uh, you have to select this field catalog input type so we have different types of input so based on this input field that will be available in this section okay now i just take this text batch uh, click on this text batch so value is required uh, you can put it to no it is these fields are not required you can leave as this okay so you see here in the manage swatches so click on this add swatch red yeah, add swatch black add swatch blue just if you want to provide any information just uh, give that otherwise just copy it for testing okay so follow this one what i am creating just create that one okay admin where uh, admin login and see these values okay uh, if customer want to check that in a different language or region so you can change that according to your uh, store view okay put it attribute code so right now i'm just uh, adding one attribute code you can put uh, whatever the name you want you put the scope value store view unique value no uh, add to columns options yes use in filters yes okay i'll discuss this one okay now go to this uh, manage level section so if you have multiple stores like uh, uh, your website is running in different uh, languages like uh, english german like that if you can put it as in a different language okay say attribute table uh, coming to the storefront properties you have these many options okay so for example using search you take this uh, you take this field we have two options one is yes or no search weight you can put up to 10 okay 1 to 10 for visible in advanced search we have uh, different searches one is uh, this mini search and uh, another one is advanced search i will show you how the advanced search is in the photo section you will find this link advanced search okay this is the advanced search you can search in the site in two ways one is this mini search and then uh, another one is this advanced search so right now I'm just leaving this one uh, using layered navigation. You have to put that filterable with results. Okay. Now leave this uh, position. Uh, so use for promo rules condition. This attribute will be available in this catalog price rule and cart price rules. Okay. By default it is no. Just leave this one. Now use in product listing. By default it will be in no. 
so if you put it to yes for these two options what it will do in the front end in this category listing uh, you have an extra attribute uh, will be added here based on that you can sort the products okay just save and continue or click on the save attribute okay now the product attribute is saved so what you have to do is go to git bash now change to your magenta root directory this is my magenta root directory where my instance is installed okay Enter. Now run indexing command. What is that? Indexer re index. It will take some time based on system configuration. Okay. Now Load the cache flush. Whenever you are creating a new attribute, you have to flush this cache and uh, re-index. Now what you have to do, go to this attribute section, go back. This is the new attribute which I have created, right? Label I have copied, so I will give, so I will go with label. This is the new attribute, right? Which I have created. This way you can search this attribute in this attributes uh, section. Okay. Now I have created this attribute. What I have to do is next go to the store attribute. Okay. You see here we have a list of uh, available attribute sets. So what is the use of this? Based on this attribute set, the attributes you are seeing in the front end that will be available okay so also we have to consider this product go to this catalog product we have to check attribute set for the products now take any product okay just i am going with uh, iphone 15 simple copy this name here edit this product You see here uh, used in product listing that means in this list available here right you see here default attribute set it was set to default okay so that's why I will take this default one if this uh, attribute set is assigned to back bottom downloadable gear or any other thing then I have to select that attribute set okay right now is just set to default go to this default set any attribute set contains these groups and unassigned attributes. Groups means which are available for the product. You see here all these things SKU, price, product name, quantity, visibility. So, all these you can find here. Now, which are not bound in this section in this uh, product. So, you can find that in the unassigned attributes. Okay. Uh, what you have to do is uh, go to these unassigned attributes whatever the attribute you selected new underscore attribute right so just drag this one and add this under the product details you can add this new attribute under any of these sections okay right now i'm just adding to product details okay that so that it will come in the first one okay now just save this so right now what i did i just uh, assigned the newly created attribute to this default attribute set now what I will do, I will open this git bash, do the re-index. Okay, re-index is done. Now you have to flush the cache. 
for that what is the command cache colon flush okay both are done now what you have to do go to the product page in the admin okay in the product section just refresh the page okay you see here whatever the assigned attribute to the default set that will come here okay now in that what are the available options go to these attributes this is the attribute I have created okay you see we have three options okay the same red black blue okay you can select any of these just I'm uh, right now I'm just selecting the black save the product so this way the filters will work you have to create a attribute and then assign this attribute to attribute set okay whatever the attribute set is already assigned to this product okay in my case it is default in your case if it is uh, another attribute set you can select that one and then if you refresh the page you will see that in the product page like this okay so I have saved the product just flush the cache for that I have to run this command cache flush okay now go to the front end in this section you will see that whatever the newly attribute you have created refresh this page scroll down you see here new attribute so you see here in the under the new attribute uh, I can see only one option black because uh, I have taken only one product and assigned that option okay black option to this attribute so if you take another product then assign to different option you will see that here right now I have uh, assigned this attribute uh, to only one product that is this simple product okay if you want to assign to any other products just assign it and also uh, whatever the attribute you have created and you are seeing in this product that will be available for all the products which are under this default set okay for example the same attribute set I have assigned to different uh, product so you will see this attribute for that product okay based on this attribute set you will see the attributes in the front end when I select this black that means whatever the products that are assigned this black option that will be filtered okay that we can see that in the front end in this listing page okay now I just select this one black scroll down I can see only one product because uh, in the admin I just selected this newly created attribute option black for only one product so if you select for different product uh, you will see that different uh, products here okay so like this you can create and manage your attributes in the Magento. Okay, this is all about uh, attribute creation and attribute sets. Till now we just seen that uh, how the products are managed in Magento from the admin and from the front end. In the next video we will see that customer management. In the customer management videos you will find how to sign in, how to create an account, how to add the product to wish list. Okay, that comes under the customer management okay thanks for watching